everyone, Mac Frederick here, and today we're going to talk about this pesky little, pesky little thing called a Facebook Pixel that you're wondering so much about. So me and Ben Frank here, we're about to dig into some details, talking about what to do with this thing, how to install it, and what it does for your business. We're going to talk about remarketing, and how to set up the Pixel on your website so that, uh, oh, right here, so that it attracts visitors. Sorry, I don't have my videographer today, so I'm going to put this together myself. Stay tuned, and we'll walk through this Pixel I can use it to drive you more business. Right, all right, all right. So a couple things we're gonna jump into this blog. If you don't wanna watch me, cause I might be annoying to you. Um, I'm getting text right now. Go through the blog. Uh, we wrote a great blog here about how to set up a business page and how to set that business page up to drive sales with marketing and remarketing and how to use this pesky little Facebook pixel here, which if you're not sure what that is, it's a tiny piece of code. First off, if you don't know, Google that. Uh, but it's a tiny piece of code, like here, that you put into the header of your website. So send it to your developer, send it to me, charge you a lot of money no I'm kidding but no it's a piece of code you get from your business page that you put on your website and you can also download this thing called the uh, what is it? pixel manager pixel helper uh, so for the example we'll use today uh, I would say we would use my other business phone pair Philly we've got that set up with Z pixel but we're gonna use um, another company or brand I just made for the sake of this iPad repair Philly brain buster there which does not have the pixel, bum, bum, bum. we will set this up with the pixel today. So, if you follow through and read this article, or uh, you can watch me annoyingly, painstakingly take you through this video, which I will, like it or not, I will take you through this video showing you how to do this. Um, and I'm gonna be using, or go over here, uh, right here is the Facebook business page iPad repair Philly that we set up. If you don't know how to set up a Facebook page, also Google it. Very easy. I probably have another video out there. Um, how to create a Facebook page. Bam. Eight simple steps. Hootsuite. Well, we should rank above Hootsuite. Uh, we'll make another video for that. Here's the website. Here's the back end. It is a WordPress website. You log into your website and pretty much walks you through these details. So first, what we're going to do, uh, if you're an agency owner or admin, you go to uh, business.facebook.com. Uh, we're going to go to the business settings from here and choose the account, Momentum's agency account. Uh, we want to access a page and an ad account. So I'm going to add a page. Go figure. iPad repair Philly. We're going to claim this bad boy right here. Pretty sure it's going to send me some sort of access request. Uh, I'm already an admin. Bam. Automatically approved. Lucky day. Um, I have admin access and you can create an ad account out of it. So you would just uh, create a new ad account and we'll call this iPad Repair Philly. Uh, select payment method, add payment method later. Create ad account. Next, we're going to want to create this pesky little pixel we're talking about, and I'll annoyingly add some people for my team. Sarah helped me write this article. Um, so, to get the pixel onto the website so that it shows that you have the pixel on the website to do remarketing. So, let's say you run an initial ad or campaign and somebody lands on this page. How high do I look here? That's funny. Um, but I don't convert or I don't do anything. I don't call, I don't get a quote. What it'll do, it'll tag me, you know, with that code, with that cookie um, that is on the page right here. Well, that's not on the page here yet. Um, so then we can run an ad on Facebook so that it follows me around. Uh, I have another example that you can see in a previous video. It's really funny. I'm just like annoyingly asking people to come back because I saw they were on my website. So I'm rambling. Let's jump to it. We're gonna go into business settings, we're gonna go to all tools, we can go to pixels. Uh, go figure, we're gonna jump into pixels and we're going to want to create a new pixel, which is 
a new data source. Sorry, we have some here. Um, let's see if we have this account yet. iPad repair. There will not be a pixel in here yet. So we're gonna add a new data source. So essentially you'll come to this page, you'll go to the data sources page, who's texting me. Um, let me expand this a little bit. I'm going to minimize here. Select a data source to view event details. We don't have a pixel yet. There's no data here, no data range, but it's gonna track website activity. It's gonna know what people are doing, where they came from, all that good stuff. You can improve your return on advertising. So remarketing mainly people um, and you can reach new or existing customers by creating lookalike audiences and custom audiences. So here's what we do. We click create a pixel. Facebook will work its magic. Uh, I will put the URL in here. Bam. Um, you can add more than one pixel to an ad account. Okay. We're going to create this pesky little guy. And now what you need to do is you actually need to take that code and that pixel and put it on your website, typically in the header so that it loads and fires right away to track these visitors. Now, you can edit it yourself and add it yourself by doing that manually or emailing it to a web developer or uh, using Google Tag Manager, WooCommerce, WordPress, or other partner websites like Wix, uh, I think like Weebly, Shopify, Squarespace, all that stuff. This is a Squarespace website. So I can hit set a partner with Word, or WordPress, I'm sorry. We're gonna go in here. The integration is supported for WordPress, 4.4 above. I can download the pixel. So I'll download that, and then you can upload the pixel to the website. So I'm gonna hit continue. It's gonna walk me through this. Log in your WordPress account, go to your dashboards and go to plugins and hit add new. All right, log in, dashboard, scroll down, plugins, add new. So far, so good. Uh, now what, Facebook, tell me. Choose file, <sighs> say no more. Click upload plugin, sorry, I'm like squinting here. Uh, choose file and select the Facebook pixel, that one right there. Boom, right down here in the corner. All right, I can do that. Upload. File, I do have a file, thank you. Is it this guy? I need to download from the zip first. I don't remember. No, I do not. So, now we're gonna install that. Uh, and okay. What do I do next, Facebook? Did that, install now. Activate, it's on the plugin. Click activate plugin, I don't know if I saw that. Oh, there it is. Easy. Uh, boom, now what? Back here. I'm sorry, I forget every time I do this, I've done this a dozen or so times. Continue. No activity yet, that's bullshit. Enter the URL. But I won't. Send test traffic. Okay. Something happened. Something happened there. What do we got? I drink my tea in anticipation. Oh, there it is. That was easy. I feel like I need to have that red button. Uh, continue. Verify your events in Event Manager. That would be the next step for another video. Uh, or you can create an ad, or you can see Facebook analytics, but therein lies the process of setting up a business page, setting up the ad account, getting the data source, creating the Facebook pixel, installing it on the WordPress website, verifying it, and then from there you can do other things that we'll talk about in other episodes. I hope this was helpful. If not, Please do not hit thumbs down. Please hit thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Uh, next, we can jump back into here. Feel free to read through this amazing blog we put together. Um, thank you for watching. My name's Mac with Momentum. Uh, we will upload this to the website. We will upload this video to YouTube. Smash that like button, hit subscribe, and we'll see you next time for another episode of Momentum Mondays. Stay tuned, have fun and uh, have a drink for me.